Not only have the numbers been increasing, they've doubled since 2018 in just that four year span. Chesterfield drivers I talking to didn't seem taken aback by that finding and say they already have their own methods to deal with aggressive road ragey drivers. Early June on 95 in Chesterfield. Near Virginia State University in May and on Chippenham Parkway in April. Just three recent local examples of an issue that is on the rise across the country. It's just, it's crazy the way people drive. As AAA Mid-Atlantic says last year, according to Everytown for Gun Safety, 554 people were shot in road rage incidents in the U.S. with 141 killed. That's twice what we saw back in 2018. Uh, that amounts to one person being killed or injured in a road rage incident about every 16 hours. Morgan Dean says road rage goes beyond aggressive driving like tailgating or swerving, but one can lead to the other and it doesn't have to include a gun. That can take the form of cursing, yelling, confrontations. We've even seen it where it turns into a car crash. Chesterfield drivers didn't seem surprised by the finding. Well, I see a lot of people that don't respect truckers and a lot of people that don't respect other drivers and that's a major problem. People have, need to have a tad more, more patience because that's the main issue is people just just want to act like they're on a NASCAR ride. As to the reason behind the increase, Dean says during COVID, while crash numbers dropped, the severity increased as people drove more aggressively and keep doing so. He suggests for those on the other end of a raging driver, try to defuse or take approaches like Deborah and don't engage. And if somebody if they curse at me or something like that, I just keep my head straight. I just like, I just ignore them. While Clark took it a step further in his Corvette. I tended my windows over here on the side so they wouldn't see me actual face to face. While for would-be aggressors, be conscious when you're getting in the car angry and plan for possible triggers, like giving yourself more time to get somewhere to account for traffic. They don't need to be in a hurry. People pass me on the road and I'm sitting beside them at the light. How far have they gone, you know? I mean, it's ridiculous.